Hi everyone, welcome back to Nutrition Bites. My name is Kelsey and I'm the dietitian here at Lifestyle Medical. Uh, so welcome to week two. We are going to focus this week on a recipe. So the recipe for this week that we're gonna talk about is overnight oats. Now we'll talk about the ingredients in the recipe and then I'm actually gonna share two bonus recipes with you for date sauce and a vegan yogurt. And then we'll talk about uh, the benefits of some of the key ingredients in the recipe. And then I'll present the weekly challenge to you. All right, so here is the recipe for this week. This is for strawberries and cream overnight oats. Now this recipe can be made tons of different ways. Uh, so for the cream portion of this recipe, uh, it calls for like a unsweetened plant-based yogurt, which you can do store-bought or you can do homemade, which I'll share that recipe. Or you can also do like a canned coconut cream or coconut milk. Additionally, uh, the sweetener for this recipe is date sauce, which I'll share that recipe with you. Or alternatively, you can also mash up a banana and add it in there and it works great as a sweetener. Okay, so here is the recipe for date sauce. I love making date sauce uh, as a sweetener alternative for things like maple syrup or honey, refined sugar, things like that. Basically, all you do is you soak pitted dates in hot water, add a little lemon juice, throw it in a blender, and blend it until smooth. Uh, you can add more or less water depending on how thick or thin you want it. And it lasts in the fridge for up to two weeks, and it's a great sweetener to add in baking, in cooking, all sorts of things. I love it. So this here is the recipe for vegan yogurt. Now it is a tofu and cashew based vegan yogurt. And I do want to mention that it's important to use silken tofu. Now silken tofu is a super silky, uh, fine tofu that is different from like our normal tofus. You can use regular to tofu, but it might change the taste and the texture a little bit. So just a heads up. Uh, you'll find silken tofu either in the international or world food section of your grocery store. And sometimes they have it in the refrigerated section where they sell the regular tofus. Uh, so just a little bit of information for that for you. Again, it calls for date sauce as the sweetener, but you could easily use maple syrup or honey if you don't want to make the date sauce. And then if you would like to, you can definitely add a probiotic capsule to the yogurt, um, breaking it open and stirring it in to give that probiotic effect that regular yogurt has. But again, that's totally optional. All right, so now let's dive into some of the benefits of the ingredients in the recipe. So this is an overnight oats recipe. So oats are obviously the main ingredient. Uh, oats are a great source of whole grains. Now, whole grains uh, have a lot of soluble fiber. They have both insoluble and soluble fiber, but soluble fiber specifically can help to lower LDL or the bad cholesterol. Uh, and that can help to decrease risk of heart disease. Uh, because it is also soluble fiber, that can help with, uh, if you're experiencing diarrhea, so soluble fiber helps to bulk up our stools. So adding some oatmeal into your diet if you are struggling with diarrhea could be beneficial for you. Uh, there are lots of different ways to prepare oats. You don't have to do overnight oats, but I find that to be the easiest method. But you can also do oat groats in an instant pot. You can do steel cut oats uh, on the stovetop or old fashioned oats in a crock pot. And in the article version of this video, I'll be sure to link a couple of additional recipes in case you're interested. Now let's talk about the benefits of chia seeds. Again, you can mix up this recipe and you can use hemp seeds or flax seeds and get very similar benefits. But this particular recipe calls for chia seeds. Uh, so chia seeds are a great source of plant protein. They're a great source, source of fiber, soluble and insoluble fiber. So because they have that soluble fiber, that can help with diarrhea. They're also a great source of fatty acids, specifically omega-3s. Uh, and so because these seeds are so high in protein and fat and fiber, they can really help to balance out blood sugar. Uh, Omega-3s specifically have also been shown to be good for brain health. Uh, and there are lots of different ways to prepare chia seeds. Uh, you can do a chia pudding, uh, which kind of is like tapioca pudding. And you can also add it to like iced tea. And that will actually be one of the recipes that we will go over in a few weeks will be a chia tea. 
All right. So now the benefits of strawberries. Uh, strawberries are a great source of carbohydrates. They can be broken down into glucose um, as our body's you know, main source of fuel. Um, but carbohydrates also include fiber. Uh, so they are a great source of fiber. Uh, and because of all that fiber content, this makes them have a very low glycemic index, which means it's not going to cause a dramatic rise in your blood sugar after you eat them. Uh, strawberries are also really high in vitamin C, and they are considered to be an anti-inflammatory food. Now, again, you can definitely use other berries in this recipe. You could do blueberries, raspberries, blackberries. It'll all taste amazing, and they're going to have very similar health benefits. All right, so now for the weekly challenge. Uh, this week, I want to challenge you to try and eat oatmeal for breakfast at least three times during the week. Now, if you do decide to do overnight oats, uh, I would encourage you to make a big batch and just split it into little containers and boom, there you go. You have your three breakfasts or however many you want to do for the week um, already. Um, but again, I'll include some recipes for oat groats in the Instant Pot or some slow cooker oats if you want to try that instead. Uh, so short and sweet and to the point this week. I hope you enjoyed this and I look forward to talking to you all next week. Thanks so much for joining.